the next lecture on electric power system that is lecture number 14 is on effect of earth on the capacitance of a three phase line so last lecture we have discussed how do we calculate the capacitance of a three phase line for the symmetrical spacing and unsymmetrical spacing but we are not taking into consideration the earth in this lecture we will consider the effect of earth on the capacitance of a three phase line so consider that there is a positive charge plus q with a earth surface which is of infinite potential running throughout so this is minus infinite to plus infinite that you have and the charge is located at a height h from the earth surface so this charge is located at a height h from the earth surface so we have seen that the distribution of the flux lines will originate from the positive charge and then it will terminate at the negative charge which is thought to be the ground surface so these are the flux lines electric flux lines that are originating from the positive charge having with the charge located at a distance h from the earth surface so if we consider that there is an opposite charge minus q which is at same height h from the earth surface below the earth surface and the positive charge plus q is at a height plus h above the earth surface then the electric flux lines which was originating from the positive charge now terminate not only with the earth surface but below the earth surface where the negative charge is present now the total height between the charges will be 2h so the total height between the charges will be 2h so that discussion we have done for a single charge now for a three phase for a three phase line there will be three charge qa qb and qc now this is your earth surface so here you have the earth surface now there is an opposite charge minus qa which is located at the same height da suppose da is the height which is located above the earth surface qa charge then the da height will be the charge minus qa will be located below the earth surface so the total distance between the positive qa and negative qa will be a distance of 2 da similarly if you have a charge qb positive and minus qb positive for the same height then the total distance will be twice of dab here you have the qc charge positive and minus qc is below the reference frame so here you have the total distance of 2 dc so in this way we can think of a three phase transmission line of three conductors and there are fictitious conductors with a negative charge that are present directly below the earth surface for the same height of which the conductor is present above the earth surface so basically the earth will alter the electric field of the line hence the capacitance of the line will be affected since the presence of the earth there will be change in the electric field so the capacitance of the field will also change now always we consider that earth is a perfect conductor now earth is a perfect conductor which is horizontal and it is of infinite extent so this is minus infinity to plus infinity we can thought of so it is of infinite extent now the electric field of the charge conductor above the earth not the same if equipotential surface of the earth were not present so if you have a horizontal plane which is of infinite extent and the positive charge which is present at a height h above the earth surface so if the equipotential surface are not present then these lines which are terminating from the positive charge will not be there now consider a single conductor with an earth return 
so if there is a single conductor and earth is behaving as the written line for the conductor the charge will come from the earth to decide on the conductor and a potential difference exists between the conductor and the earth so this is your line and this is your earth now earth being the written conductor there will be a potential difference between the conductor and the earth the earth and conductor have a charge which is equal in magnitude but opposite in sign so if you have plus q charge in the any of the line then earth being the written conductor will have a negative charge of the same magnitude but opposite of sign the electric flux from the charge on the conductor to the charge on the earth is perpendicular to the earth's equipotential surface since the surface is assumed to be a perfect conductor so the flux lines that are originating from the charge to the conductor are perpendicular to the earth's equipotential surface now let us consider a ground or the earth which is of infinite extent and if you consider a charge q a with a negative charge minus q a located at the same height h uh, above and below the earth surface and there is a two wire line so b is the other wire which is having a charge q b so minus q b will be there at a height same height that is h above the earth surface and below the earth surface now the distance between the other conductor q b and a dash is equal to h capital h so we have to find out what is the capacitance of this line so what is the capacitance of this line now if you see the potential v a b we know that it is 1 by 2 pi epsilon and there are two charges one is q a and other is q b so q a ln of d by r so whenever you have a charge q a it will be ln of d by r and whenever you have a charge q b it will be become a reciprocal r by d so this will be due to the charges which is present due to the positive charge above the earth surface what about the negative charge which is present below the earth surface minus q a and minus q b so here the distance is ln of h by 2 h okay so whenever we are trying to find a potential v a b the charges minus q a minus q b will also play an important role in affecting the potential of v a b so here the uh, whenever you have a charge minus q a so you know the distance you have is capital h divided by the two time the small h so this is 2h that you have when you have a your charge qb so it is a negative sign so you have a distance 2h divided by capital h but we know that from the hypotenuse perpendicular concept pythagoras theorem here you have a cap distance h the distance between the conductor is d and the total height between the conductor is 2h so a relationship can be obtained as the hypotenuse h is equal to under root of d square plus 2h of whole square so if we substitute that in the equation then we will get a potential v a b as this so on substituting the value of h as cap under root d square plus 4h square we are getting a potential v a b as this but we know that the q a is equal to minus of q b because it is a two conductor line and these charges if you have this is a q a this is minus q a this is q b and q b being the written conductor of q a so q a is equal to minus of q b so if you substitute that the after doing some manipulations we are getting a final result as q the potential of ab as qa in terms of only one charge that is qa by pi epsilon ln of d by r plus ln of 1 by under root 1 plus d square by 4h square we know that the potential formula is b equal to q by 2 pi epsilon and ln of d by r here we can see that a other term has appeared 
So one more term has appeared in the expression. So that term is because of the presence of the earth. So the capacitance whenever you are obtained the charge divided by the potential and you divide this charge with respect to the potential you will get d by r plus ln of pi epsilon divided by under root 1 plus d square by 4 h square. So here we can see that there will be a extra term appearing and this term is due to the effect of earth on the capacitance. So effect of earth we have on the capacitance of the transmission line. So this is the effect of the earth. Now we have discussed for a two conductor line can we discuss for a three conductor or a three phase lines. So you have to imagine a fictitious conductor. So always you imagine if we have a charge QA, QB and QC and this forms a three phase transmission line which are unsymmetrical spacing. So here you have unsymmetrical spacing between the conductor. Uh, the discussion, uh, broad discussion we are doing for unsymmetrical, you can equally consider the symmetrical spacing. Now here this conductor minus QA, minus QB and minus QC which are present directly below the QA, QB charge and QC charge will form a, another set of conductors and these are the fictitious conductor which are present directly below uh, having the same size and shape directly below the original conductors below the earth surface. So here we can remove this earth. This earth can be removed as you have an equal and opposite charges present above and the earth surface and the earth will act as an equipotential plane. So earth will act as equi potential plane. So here the earth will act as equipotential plane. So you can replace this earth and only the charges will be there. And we consider all the distances small h1, small h2 and small h3 at the distance between the conductor and distance between the individual conductor and h12, h2, s3, 1, h2, 3 are the distance between the two conductors of a group. Then if you have the charges QA, QB and QC on individual conductor because the conductors are unsymmetrical since we have seen that the conductor is unsymmetrical you will have to transpose the conductor. So there has to be transposition of the conductors. So for each conductor QA will occupy a position 1, 2 and 3 for the 3 positions to obtain the transposition. So again, if we consider the A to be in position 1, B to be in position 2 and C to be in position 3, we can obtain the potential of the line VAB. So here we have seen that this is your A, this is your B and this is your C we have and directly below the earth you have a conductor A dash, B dash and C dash that you have. So here we have to find what is the potential V, A, B. So what is the potential between A and B having the charges Q, A. So this will be minus Q, A. This is Q, B. This will be minus Q, B. This is Q, C. This will be minus Q, C. So after doing the basic formula of voltage is equal to 1 by 2 pi epsilon uh, into Q divided by ln of D by R, we know this basic formula. After substituting this formula for the case A, that is A to be in position 1, B to be in position 2 and C to be in position 3, we are getting a potential VAB as this. So after doing all these manipulations, finding the positions, taking the average that we have, we know how to calculate from the previous thing of transposition, uh, we will just know that the sum of QA plus QB plus QC will be equal to 0. So we can stake out QB plus QC one side to get the value of QA and all sort of manipulations we want to do it that we have already done previously and we want to concentrate on the final result. So here we know the capacitance of the line we obtain full capacitance of the line when taking the earth to be a picture. So we know that the capacitance of a line Cn is equal to 2 pi epsilon ln of d equivalent by r because 
here you have the transposition so we are using d equivalent instead of d now here this is the capacitance of a transmission line when there is no role of the transposition uh, there is no role of the capacitance of the earth but when the earth has come into a picture there is an extra term that we have appear so this term is basically if you observe this term is basically ln of gmd by gmr ln of gmd by gmr so this term due to this term this is the effect of the capacitance so if this term is high enough what will happen that the denominator will come down and the capacitance will increase so the presence of earth will obviously increase the capacitance of the line so we have remove remove uh, remember the capacitance neutral as 2 pi epsilon into divided by ln of d equivalent by r because there is a transposition minus ln of gmd by gmr of the line gmd by gmr of the line so the earth will increase the capacitance of the line this is the most important point to be note here is the present of the earth is increasing the capacitance of the line because this second term has appeared and this term as we go up so the denominator will come down because there is a negative sign and the capacitance will increase so if the conductors are very high above the ground h1 and h12 are both equal so now this is your ground surface and if the conductor height is quite high so this vertical distance and the hypotenuse distance both will become equal so h1 and h12 both will be of equal height when it is very high so this term will cancel it each other uh, other so ln of 1 will become 0 so this term will go and here we will have cn is equal to 2 pi epsilon ln of d equivalent of r so if the conductors are present at quite high from the earth surface we can neglect the effect of ground and the sum of the three lines current are not zero so again we will get a capacitance cn as equal to 2 pi epsilon with ln of d equivalent by r which is the capacitance when we have not taken the earth into account and if the conductors are quite high from the earth surface you will not have the second term and you will get the same amount of capacitance so this completes the effect of earth on the capacitance of a transmission line the next lecture we are going to discuss about the bundle conductors and how do we calculate its capacitance for the line thank you